Box Office Spider-Man No Way Home wrangles gargantuan $253 million for highest pandemic-era box office by far movie news. It's a number befitting of such an epic adventure of multiversal proportions. Spider-Man No Way Home, the hotly anticipated latest installment of Tom Holland's Spidey Adventures, has debuted to an awe-inspiring $253 million from 4,336 theaters across North America. That figures blows any other domestic open during the pandemic out of the water, the erstwhile greatest hit being Venom, Let There Be Carnage, which scored a comparably measly $90 million. But no one tell Venom we said that. What's more, it has fared similarly well overseas, even amid concerns of the growing Omicron wave which has resulted in limited restrictions in some European territories collecting $334.2 million from 60 global markets. This truly astounding number puts it at the third biggest worldwide opening weekend ever, and again, beats any other COVID era total by a profound margin. That the Sony tent pole is achieving such huge figures in the pandemic era is remarkable in itself, but it's even beating records achieved outside of COVID times. The last title to see this kind of financial domination was Avengers, Endgame, which took a hitherto unseen, behemoth box office of $357 million. Spidey hasn't reached this kind of dough, which one would think to be essentially impossible under current market conditions with Omicron on the rise, but it has pipped the likes of Star Wars. The Force Awakens, $247 million, and Jurassic World, $208 million, which is remarkable in itself. If your Spidey sense isn't already tingling and trust us, it should be let's web up some perspective. No Way Home's total is higher than its predecessors combined, with Spider-Man, Homecoming and Spider-Man. Far from home raking in $117 and $92 million debuts, respectively. Want some more? Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire's first epoch-shifting outing as the red and blue webs linger, established a new domestic opening record in its first weekend with $114.8 million, and No Way Home has made almost two and a half times that not adjusted for inflation. Suffice to say, such huge numbers cannot be attributed to the rest of the weekend's titles. The only other debutant, Guillermo del Toro's similarly anticipated Nightmare Alley, came in fifth with a sub-projection take of $2.95 million. Rounding off the rest of the chart are another Disney property, Encanto, $6.52 million, at second, West Side Story, $3.41 million, at third, and Ghostbusters. Afterlife, $3.4 million, at fourth. With Spoilerverse fans keen to beat the internet, Marvel flicks tend to be bookend toward their opening weekends. But No Way Home is one of the few MCU titles to receive a coveted A plus via cinema score, indicating huge audience acclaim, this, plus a 9.1 user score, on Metacritic, at the time of writing, suggesting that word of mouth will be strong. So have you watched this movie yet? Let us know what you think about the movie in the comments below.